Hello everyone, Dracovich here. Today we're going to be going over the new message from the devs. So they started out by saying, there's going to be a new update for Helldivers 2 account linking. And due to technical issues with the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. See details in the post below. So they go on to say, Account linking plays a crucial role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studios games. This is our way to protect players from griefing and abusing by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. As such, as of May 6th, all new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see their mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have a linked Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up using this link. And then they say, we understand that this may be an inconvenience to some of you. This step will help us to continue to build the community that you are all proud to be part of. Many thanks to your continued support of Helldivers 2, Sony Interactive Entertainment. So, it goes on. I went on to the Reddit. And on the Reddit, they said, since the news broke, 89.1% of reviews have been negative. So you can see it started a couple of days ago when the update came out. We had about a thousand bad reviews. Then it went down to like 900, 800-ish. Then down 400, 500-ish. Down again. And then today, or yesterday, that update came out. And we went all the way up to 3,000 again. And it says, this guy said, moreover, it should be noted that this, those who activated the key did not buy it on Steam and are not taking it into the account in these statistics. So then we went over to, I found another article about the explanation of why people are mad. <clears throat> so for those not aware, Sony sells the game on Steam in countries they do not support on PSN. The Baltic countries and most of Africa, for example. They only support 69 out of 190 countries, so these players do not have a legal way to play the game. Even if players from those countries want to make a PSN account, they're in breach of the PSN terms of service if they do. This also hints at what the grace period was really about, to avoid the possible hundreds of thousands of Steam refunds from players in those unsupported countries, while hope for the game was at its peak, by only locking these players out of the game, and after the refund window is long over. Players that booted the game for the first time, that wouldn't be allowed to make a PSN account and would have no legal recourse but to request a refund through Steam. And also all the other players that would have chosen to not make a PSN account and would have been entitled to refund within Steam refund window is very scummy behavior from Sony and also Arrowhead to some degree, to say the least. And we see a comment here. I'm sure there will be a solution for this, but I agree. How do we sell a game in countries where you have to break the terms of service to play? Got a point. And then we have some pushback from some of the community members. And they said, okay, I'm done with this PSN drama nonsense. And then they showed a picture here. This picture shows requires a third-party account PlayStation Network supports linking to Steam account. So he goes on to say, This was always here. I saw it when I purchased the game on March 5th. This is not a surprise. There is no Machiavellian scheme. You all just didn't read it. How do I know this? Because I read it on the story page and looked into the matter to see how difficult such a thing would be. Turns out not very at all. You don't want to link another account? My brother in Liberty, you had to link an email account to Reddit in order to post here. And I'm not going to go on with the rest because he's just, just an opinion. So I want to know what you guys think. Are you just as angry as everyone else? 
Are you fine with this change? Do you think it's unfair that people in countries where they can't make PSN accounts had to can't refund the game now? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, if you like the content, and share the sports channel. I'll see you guys next time.